Ghostbusters 2016 is here. Feminist propaganda film. That's what Ghostbusters 2016 is. It's ruined my childhood. Ghostbusters, is, the original has disappeared. This film has erased my favourite film. Let's get into talking about Ghostbusters 2016. Ghostbusters 2016 has been called feminist propaganda, and to me that is complete bullshit. There's nothing in the movie where women say, hey, we want equality for women, hey, we want to fix the wage gap, hey, we want to do all of this shit, we don't want us to be sexually harassed in the street, we don't want to be catcalled, there's none of that shit in the film. It's just women doing shit, women busting ghosts, and fighting ghosts and saving the city. That's what the film is. It's not feminist propaganda, just because it's now women Ghostbusters, it's not feminist propaganda. So Ghostbusters 2016 is a film that I actually really like, and I'm surprised. And at the moment this has a 78% on Rotten Tomatoes. Hey, guess what? That's from 95 reviews. Oh, but look, if you go on IMDb, it's a 3.8. IMDb is from people that could just be fans. People can just... anyone can review it and it's on a 3.8 because anyone has reviewed it, it's all these people that have called it feminist propaganda, have moaned about it because it's for women, moaned about it because saying it's the worst film ever. You really haven't seen that many films if you think this is the worst film ever. Ghostbusters 2016 is a lot of fun and everyone does a brilliant job. Every single woman that is in it does a brilliant job. We have Leslie Jones, Melissa McCarthy, uh, Kirsten Wig, Kate McKinnon, and we've got, we got a lot of cameos. There's perfect cameos in this movie and if you love the original film, there are the cameos that you want in this. It's people that you've you've loved from the original films. Um, there's an after credit scene which references uh, something to the original films. Ghostbusters 2016 isn't a terrible time. It's a fun time. I enjoyed it. Yes, there are moments where it gets a sort of uh, the pacing is a bit slow, um, but it has an exciting finale and there is some really funny jokes. I have to admit, yes, there are some jokes that fall flat and there are are some jokes that really don't work and there is some sort of cringy moments to it. Um, but Kate McKinnon, um, I think that she was really great in this, and Leslie Jones was great, and and Paul Feig, or Feg, he's done a really great job, and the writer's done a good job on this, and it's fun. Yes, the special effects is one point where the special effects do go a little bit off, and it didn't completely work for me, but Ghostbusters 2016 is a fun time. It's not this feminist propaganda and bullshit that everyone has been coming out with. It's nothing like that. It's just women... Busting ghosts, or oh, there's had someone, oh, they only bust one ghost, but there's, the finale, there's, they've been busting a lot of ghosts. It's sort of like an origin thing to them. And all the people that were in the original um, Ghostbusters, like, they really love this, and um, Dan Aykroyd loved this, and hey, they're all, all these critics that are giving it great reviews have all been paid, what, 95 critics on Rotten Tomatoes at the moment? 95 critics, they, they all been paid. Yes, a few of them have given it rotten, but it's a 78%, and that's really good. A lot of people expected this to be like a 30 or something, but Ghostbusters 2016 is surprisingly good. And just because it's women Ghostbusters, it doesn't ruin your childhood. You don't have to see this movie if you don't want to. You are sort of missing out on a, a, a fun time. I'm not saying it's this most amazing film ever, but it's still a fun time. It does only get 3.5 out of me, um, but that's still a pretty high rating for this. And it's still a lot of fun uh, because I could give this a 4, but there's some little things I have with it. Uh, but yeah, 3.5 out of 5. It's it's fun. It's actually fun. And I'm surprised by that. Finale is fun. There's one moment where this music happens. And I sort of got sort of goosebumps. I was like, this is really cool, this part. Um, and Kate McKinnon kicks some ass in that scene. Like, this film is fun. And I do suggest seeing it. I'm, I'm not saying that, um, like, if you loved Ghostbusters, you're going to completely love this. But you'll find something to enjoy in it. And, yeah. It's just people moaning about, oh, it's a, it's a women... Women remake, why do we need that? Why do we need the Ghostbusters be women? It can only be men that can be Ghostbusters. This thing, this is probably not going to work with me saying this, but imagine, like, if... I know these aren't films that are completely loved, but you have all these movies that have women in them. Imagine if they made Kill Bill now, and the bride was now the groom, and there was now a male. Imagine if they made... <laughs> remade Jai's Angels, and it was just all now men. Would we moan about it? Would we get angry about it? But for somehow, just because it's women in the thing now, we we cry about it and have an uproar and get angry about it. That's just that's what I want to say. I know that this film does pretty much do all the same things as the original, but it adds in new ideas and is, is fun and does throwbacks to the original film. And I did enjoy it. So Ghostbusters 2016, 3.5 out of 5 for me. If you've seen Ghostbusters 2016, send in the comments down below if you enjoyed it. Um, all that fun stuff. Um, or do you hate it because it's the remake and it's, it's what you didn't want. Um, it's one of the better remakes and I'm happy about that. So yeah, good cameos, fun, um, exciting finale. 
and very funny. Um, there are a few cringy moments, but it's still fun. That's all today. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.